Hey guys, I'm going to show you very quickly some of my Magic the Gathering collection and you can see it's just booster boxes. Uh, those are fat packs and they are, I don't know if you can see the, that it's two rows going back of each of those. Here is some Magic cards, um, decks that I'm using currently and those are play mats on the ground as well as other cards, some books, some other magic cards I'm gonna take, I'm gonna walk you. That's actually my kitty room. And this is the kitchen. I'm not gonna show you the whole room or the whole home because there's no furniture anywhere. This is my magic stuff. This is the room. So actually I'll take you a quick look at the room. It's got anime figures, but this is the speculations. So if people wanna know where do I keep all the speculations, these are the speculations. Here you have the emerging format called Homelands, which is gonna take everyone by storm. But yeah, this is a really, really great home. I still haven't really finished moving in. I have to move in. It's a very large home. It's an extremely large home. But when I saw it, I fell in love with it. So, and then those are more magic play mats. Again, have not. I have not moved in at all. I'm still trying to move in. So that's why I cannot show you the whole home tour. But let me flip this camera this way. But eventually I hope to show you guys a home tour. Uh, once I have my library, I still have about 2000 books in storage. I have some more boxes in storage. I have a ton of just random stuff. There is no furniture. Um, there is a dining room table, which I've already messed up. A kitchen table, which I built and already kind of destroyed. And there's the bedroom set. I'm not gonna take you into the bedroom right now. And then there's three bedrooms upstairs, four. Three bedrooms, depending on how you calculate it, uh, count it in a media room as well as a balcony. So outside there is a balcony, which is like the best part of living here is there's a second level balcony and it's fantastic. Well, everything just got repainted. But let's talk about casual magic. So I've been playing a lot of casual magic and one of the first things I did once I had a dining room table was we drafted a box of Morning Tide down here. Morning Tide being a really fun set for me because it reminded me of, it reminded me a lot of college. College uh, was a good time and I had a lot of buddies come down and they drafted because they helped me move some of my books. The books are just insanely heavy. I, the story behind this particular library that I just showed you is that it's come, it comes from a store called My Domi. Uh, My Domi is a relatively famous store in Houston. It is a graphic design haven, uh, meaning if you are a graphic designer, you know of My Domi. They had a store in Austin and a store in Houston. Unfortunately, being a graphic design bookstore in 2014 or 2015 when they went under, people will, the store is completely packed with customers. It was just like a house, but no one ever bought anything, kind of like uh, Warhammer almost. They would just look at these books and they would stay there for hours and hours, but no one buy anything and eventually it went under, belly up. So I had the opportunity to buy a very, buy the collection and call it my own, which is part of Houston's history. Especially if you're a graphic designer, it does mean a lot that, um, it used to be a lot bigger, but my friends who are also graphic designers, they've been able to, I've been, I've given them a lot of stuff. So anyway, casual magic is probably my favorite format. These are all casual magic. Sometimes you'll drop, draft, you know, a box of Mirage tournament packs. We have these lying around. We have lots of Mirage stuff. And sometimes we'll draft something, you know, in a box. It really, really depends on what we want to do. And it's just fun. It's fun just having fun. It's just being with your friends. That's what makes magic. In my opinion, that's the best magic you can play is just being with your friends, hanging out, eating good food, drinking a little bit and drafting something that you drafted 10 years ago. I think those sets were almost 10 years. It's crazy to me that the set was almost 10 years ago and I still have uh, just as much fun with it as I did back then. So that's definitely something I recommend. Casual Magic the Gathering is 
I don't play competitively anymore. I don't go to F&M's uh, frequently because there's no reason. I don't want to drive to a place, get screamed at and yelled at by the tournament organizer for an F&M promo, right? That's the catch, right? Otherwise, you're just, the money is, instead of going to beer or food, is going back to the store, which is good for the store. I just feel like I would much rather have a close-knit group of friends draft at the dining room table, kitchen room table, hang out, drink, eat, and have fun. And I'm very fortunate, I do, I've do. i made that group of friends, so it's not like we need more members, although we always, if you're around Houston, you wanna draft some, uh, and they don't pay for it, I, I pay for this stuff. Uh, you wanna draft, oh wow, I remember this, Urza Saga, we were drafting this uh, probably eight months ago, we each had a tournament pack of Urza Saga, my friend pulled the guy's cradle, but it just barely covered the cost of one of those. You're not gonna make money, but you will have a tremendous amount of fun doing so. Anyway, bye guys.